Hi guys, it's Apple Script Man, and I'm here with a new tutorial on how to make a database. Um, as you can see, the code is pre-written because um, I've already decided to uh, write it because it's quite long. I'm gonna go through all the code um, for you guys, and I'm gonna post the code on the description uh, so you can just copy and paste it and do what I say. Now, basically, I I assume that you've watched my beginner's tutorial um, because that will be really useful for understanding a lot of what I'm saying um, but I will try and explain it if, if I have the time okay so basically I've set a whole lot of letters to different names okay these are gonna be the names of our members in the database okay so for example I set S to Sam Price okay so um, when I, this is the a string um, basically S stands in for Sam Price okay so it just makes things quicker now I've set X to text returns of the display dialog. This is basically our pop-up which says, you know, search for a member has the uh, text input, um, text input event, and a button that says, you know, search. So basically, it's going to say search for a member. The default answer in the text input um, area is enter the name here, and our buttons, the button will say search. Okay. Now basically. Um, we're gonna start. Here's the actual query code um, here and then on. Basically, ignoring right space means ignoring a um, space. So, for example, let me just show you. Let me just click run. Um, if I did Sam and a space like that, it wouldn't matter, okay? Um, and ignoring case basically means ignoring capital letters or whatever. Now, as I in my uh, uh, beginning tutorial I introduce you to if and else uh, conditionals we'll be using them here a lot okay so basically if X contains s then display dialog this is basically a pop-up which says member number one Sam price is member number one and his phone number is one two three and the buttons okay and remember s is Sam price so basically if X contains uh, Sam price then display this dialog um, and remember X is the text returned of the original dialogue. So let me just show you what I mean. I click run, enter the name here, Sam Price, and we should, there you go, see that there's the display dialogue which is right there. Okay? So basically, that is our database. Now, I've just copied and pasted um, the display dialogue and just changed the data according to, but uh, accordingly, but let me just show you the code and explain it once again. So basically, our next bit of code is an else if. So else, if X contains D, which is Dave blog, okay, then display the dialog Dave blog, etc. And we'll end the if, and it just goes on and on with our eight uh, members, and then we end our document with end ignoring, end ignoring, because remember we did ignoring case and ignoring right space, and that is basically the database. Um, I'll show I'll show it to you if you want. Click run. Uh, remember, there's a guy called uh, Max Dog, and I'll just use some random letters, and it'll still come up with Max Dog. Um, that's because remember ignoring. Um, that's because if it if it only contains, I didn't explain this. Sorry, if basically X, which is the text uh, inputted by the user, just has Sam Price in it, it doesn't matter if it has anything else in it. As long as it has Sam Price in it, then it will display this. Okay. So basically, that that is the database. Um, it's really simple. As I said, Apple Script is a really, really scripting code, easy scripting code. Um, I'm just going to show you that like all all the names work, well, even if there's a space of so Fabio, um, Fabio, James. Well, I did a space there and some random letters. It'll still come up with Fabio James. And you you can have custom data. This is basically um this um code can be used for any type of database you want it can easy, even be used to store your files and make it easy to find them if you do paths if you want to know paths just ask um, it is in this tutorial it might be in another one so yeah it's really simple so I hope you like this really quick easy tutorial and I hope you watch my next one which will be how to have password protected and user protected applications and I'll just I'll just um um add the password and user thing to uh, this code. So yeah, hope you liked it and be sure to uh, subscribe and stuff. Thanks.